Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be doing a really fun styling piece. It's a piece that has been all over Instagram. It is the padded t-shirt. I am going to be styling this shirt six different ways, totally different styles, casual, dressy, um, very like trendy LA girl, uh, classic. These t-shirts have been in for a few seasons already, so it's not like an entirely new concept but a lot more stores and like wholesale brands are starting to make them. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to uh, style the shirt for the summer uh, a bunch of different ways for you guys. So let's get started. Oh, also I am filming on my iPhone today, my vlogging camera, uh, long story boring, it's in the shop right now. I don't know how long it'll take to get fixed. So please bear with me. I'm sorry if it's not like the best quality, but I promise you the content will still be fire. So the first way I style this is with some paperback shorts. These are older Zara, so I don't have a link for them, but honestly, any paperback short will work. So this is just something really cute and casual, but like also elevated because the shorts just kind of give it like a zhuzh. And then you have two options for shoes here. The first are just some neutral wrap heels. These are also Zara, but honestly, any kind of like bone color will do. So here's the look. Very cute and casual. It's a little bit dressy and elevated, um, again, with the wrap heels. But another option you can do is just with the flat sandal, which will make it a little bit more casual than this. The flat sandals, I'm just taking something brown. These are also Zara. This is way more um, easy and doable if you're just having like a, I don't know, casual lunch or like a backyard function, backyard barbecue. So you're still looking good and put together, but it's a lot more casual with this flat sandals. This next one is like all the summer feels. So I paired it with a white denim skirt and then some white thong heeled sandals and then just kind of this like little woven purse. So I feel like this is something you can definitely take on vacation. Definitely an outfit that you can wear to the beach if you guys are like going to the bars or going for lunch near the water or anything. I feel like this is such a cute look. It is still very chic, but then you kind of soften it up with this little summer bag. And this bag is old from Topshop, but there are so many woven bags right now that you can find that will totally work perfect. Now this next one is something that I would totally wear to an event just because I love me some little leather shorts and they kind of just elevate the look a little bit and kind of make it a little bit more fashion forward. But I do feel like this is a little bit plain, so we're gonna add a belt. So for this one, I thought how fun would this cowbell be, right? Now this belt is a little bit too big for me and I didn't want to get it shortened, so Here's a trick for you guys. And I love tying this belt this way too, just because it's already such a fun belt. So I feel like the way I knot it just gives it even more of like a cool vibe. So we're gonna take and just pull it as tight as you need. You're gonna take this little hardware and just tuck it on top, loop the belt under, and then within this little hole, you're gonna pull the belt through. And that's what it's going to look like. So again, just piecing together really fun, funky pieces to make this look like over the edge, but still it's just like pretty basic elements. Last but not least for this look are shoes. We have these cute little kind, I don't even know like what to call them, but I got them off of Revolve. I think they are the cutest ever and they're actually surprisingly very comfortable as well. This is actually probably my favorite look out of the bunch just because you guys know me, I love kind of mixing and matching little funky pieces and then putting them together. So this is, I feel like me in a nutshell, for sure. And it's such a cool look for summer. And this is also something that you can definitely wear during the daytime and then transition it to night. Just throw on like an oversized leather jacket or a black blazer because you already have black on. So it's definitely something you can easily wear into the night. This next combo definitely embodies like every single 2020 summer trend ever, I feel like. So we have these longer denim shorts, or are they called jorts? I feel like guys would call them jorts, but anyways. So you guys know my whole dilemma with Levi's. They rarely ever fit like 
ever and I always have the worst luck but with my two denim shorts from the Free People haul and then these ones I feel like maybe just shorts are my only way of being able to wear Levi's so I got these in my normal size and they do have some room but I like it just because it does have like a baggier feel and it is exactly how I wanted them to fit so I paired it together I did the hair claw clip because again summer 2020 trends and then I paired it with these thong wrap sandals and typically I would wrap the sandals in front but I feel like the tie in front was just a little bit too girly a little bit too feminine I didn't really like how it looked so I tied it in the back and I feel like it already just made the outfit look so much better last but not least we have our little rectangle sunglasses retro glasses like how cute right I love this so much too this is definitely like a cool girl street look um something for daytime definitely very la vibes for this next look i decided to keep the hair claw in just because i feel like it kind of gives it more of like a refined retro feel but this is another way to style so i paired it with some white kind of paper bag baggy jeans some flat sandals and then a clutch again something you can totally wear during the daytime and then even out to dinner afterwards just because it is a little bit more conservative so definitely love this option as well and i totally think this is also something that you can wear to church that you can wear visiting some families that you can wear shopping there's just a lot of different options for this pairing for the last pairing this will be something more of a going out look instead of tucking it into the pants i kind of want to give it a little bit more of like a sexy sophisticated feel so we are going to do the bra tuck instead so all the bra tuck is is literally tucking your shirt into your bra <laughs> so you're just going to take the hem and stuff it under and that's literally it so it shows a little bit more skin, but it still gives it kind of like that cool tailored look. Now, this is a little too plain for me, so we're gonna add a belt. I'm going to go with a brown one, and do not be afraid to mix your browns and your blacks. I used to be like a brown only or black and grayscale only person, but I started mixing browns and blacks a year, year and a half ago, and I actually really like the combo sometimes. You definitely have to like do it correctly though. You can't just slap on any brown with any black. To make sure it makes sense but again don't be afraid so here it is with the brown belt i feel like it just kind of gives it more of like a classic kind of 90s early 2000s ralph lauren polo kind of feel if that makes any sense and for the heels we're going to go back to these little cute black ones so that is it so you can keep the hair up maybe for this one we'll bring it back down okay and there you have it Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you guys got a lot of great new ideas on how to style this top. Let me know if you try out any of the outfits and how they work for you. And don't forget to subscribe.